This is the plaintiff, Colleen Kimball. She says the defendant is her neighbor, who she became close to, so she lent her some money in her time of need, and now the louse is trying to stiff her. The more she asked the defendant to repay the loan, the more creepy she got, and she had to go to court to file a restraining order. Bottom line, she's done dealing with this crazy person and is suing her here and now for the $774 she's owed. This is the defendant, Barbara Ferraro. She says the plaintiff is the one who's acting kooky because she paid her back in full on a $900 loan she gave her. The woman's just mad her restraining order wasn't granted by the judge. She wants this woman to leave her alone. And if she sees her in the neighborhood, she's just going to cross the street and ignore her. She's accused of taking, but not returning. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court next case on the docket. The plaintiff says she and her neighbor were super close, so she loaned her money and then ended up not only getting stiff, but had to go to court to get a restraining order. The defendant yeah, says the plaintiff's a kook and the restraining order was rejected. It's the case of restrain yourself. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Oh, we've got quite the full house here. Colleen Kimball, you are suing Barbara Ferraro, your former good, good buddy, for $774 and a loan that, according to you, she stopped repaying. Correct. What happened? How did you two meet? Um, in 2018, we became friends. Uh, she lives two doors down from where we both live in the same complex. Okay, and what kind of a mm -hmm. complex is this? It's for the elderly and disabled. Okay, so you have to be how old to live there? I believe 60. Elderly? Yeah, I know. I don't like the sound of that <laughs> one bit. <laughs> <laughs> so who are all the folks we have? Just folks from the hood? Yeah, <laughs> welcome crew. All right, um, so you two become friends. Everything's Correct. going fine. Yes. In fact, you became good friends, right? In fact, you had the keys to each other's place. Absolutely. Right, and then what went wrong? Um, I went through a breakup on April 15th, and she kind of took me underneath her wing and was allowing me to use a car, not that often. Her car, okay. Yes, and... Um, and then there were times she also would drive me okay. to doctor appointments or to visit my mom in a convalescent home. Okay. Um, in those times, I uh, paid her ten dollars for gas. Let her lie and be quiet. Okay. Okay. Who are you to her? My daughter. I'm her daughter. Um, You're her daughter. All right. Every, both of you need to not talk anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. It'll be sorry. your turn in a minute. It's okay. Sorry. All right. Go ahead. As time progressed after April 15th, towards the end of April. She borrowed in intervals. I don't remember the exact amounts each time, but it was for repairs at a garage in Avery's in my hometown. Um, she, one time she had the air conditioner fixed. Another time she asked to borrow X amount of dollars to go out have, to dinner. Do you, how were you keeping track of the money that you were I loaned? have a ledger. Um, I don't have what day she borrowed the money. I have a ledger of when she started paying me. I have a voicemail that says she owes me. I have a friend, she- How much do you say she owes you right now? $774. And how do you get to that figure? It what started was the... off at 1099. Okay, let's see what we can agree on and what we cannot agree on. Do you agree that throughout a couple different times? All right, Absolutely. so now you're gonna have to prove that it started off at 1099. That's the first sentence you're gonna have to prove. So if you don't know the dates of the loans, uh, how are you going to prove up the loans? All I know is it took place in the end of April 2018. Okay, can five... you just show me proof that you loaned those monies? How about text between the two of you about who owes what? I have a transcript of when I went for a restraining order on her. She admitted that she owed me money, never disagreed the $774. Is that in the transcript, the restraining order? What happened to get to the restraining order? Uh, um, Bobby um, became jealous of a friend, Sandy. And um, she was harassing me and tried to enter my apartment. And then in the transcripts, when I said the 774 to the other judge, she never denied it. Okay. And she said, I am paying her back. Okay, let but me see the transcript. That's what I want to say. Let me hear from you. So did you borrow monies? Yes, I did. All right, Your and Honor, when did you borrow monies? I borrowed monies? $900. 
in March. My and car. What did you buy? My brakes. Your my brakes? car. She okay. was using my car on multiple occasions to go see her mother and mother. Okay, in, I can't have you coaching your mother. Don't talk okay, to her I'm when sorry. she's trying to testify. If to there's something you want to add later, the, you can add I'm it. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's okay. To go see her mother in the Regency House. Okay, but who, when, when you say she, okay, so that's money though that you expected to pay back even though she was using your car. I paid it back. I okay. got it right here. I Listen, there was no, I asked her if she wanted me to write, wanted me to write a promissory note. Yeah, that's the she best way. That's absolute, the optimal way of doing this, yes. folks. Okay? She said no, we're okay. friends. No, no, I, no, that's exactly who you want to have a promissory note <laughs> with. The person who you don't want to lose later in a, because you have a, 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 a swearing match about who owes who what. The person you don't want to lose later is the one you absolutely have to make sure everything is in writing. By the way, you never told me why you sought a restraining order. <laughs> Because, <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. You can't just keep saying sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I asked her to please leave. She put her foot in the door and still tried to come in my apartment. So right. that's why you sought the restraining order? Because she tried to enter my apartment. And she what was... happened with the, you got the, the temporary issued. I and had then a... you went to it for a hearing on the permanent and the permanent got denied, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, now, let me hear from you. What she just told you was nothing but a lie. I went to her apartment, not, I tried to call her twice. Left her a message and I knew she was in her house. She had the key to my house. It was like a month, maybe six weeks, we weren't talking so I wanted my key back. What do you say was the reason you guys stopped it's, talking? It's, it's like, what is what do you say was talking? the reason you guys stopped talking? Well, she, she said because I was jealous. No, but because, I'm asking you. you know what? I am a true friend. I asked her one night, want to go play, you want to play cards? We all used to play cards together, all of them, okay? It's like a dorm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's worse. Yeah, I want to live worse. there. Listen. No, it's worse. worse. It's worse. No, it should be better. This is a good thing. You want there to be social. You just want everybody to get I, along. I, I like mm. living where I, I, mm. I love living where I am, and I love my apartment, but it's just that, so, so you all used to play cards, and what happened? I, I interrupted called her and you. asked her. She said no. So I called her and asked her if she wants to sit outside, smoke a cigarette. It's very babyish of me. So I went outside with my dog to take him to do his business, and there's all three of them. And they call, had excluded you. Call, they excluded me. They yeah. all got cell phones. Could have called and said, hey, Bob, you want to come outside and sit? I wouldn't do that to them. But it was very babyish of me. So I copped an attitude. Okay. Okay. But that's not where it started. It all started when she threw, kicked her lover out, her partner out. She was a drinker, an alcoholic. She fell one night. She come knocking on my door at 1030 at night. Can you help me pick Pat up? I said, maybe you should call 911. Well, anyway, so I went next door, couldn't get her up. So I went back in my house and got a chair. We slid her on a chair. She called 911. They took her to the emergency room. Pat was doing good six months to maybe close to a year. In the meantime, um, where am I? Where am I? After so Pat are, do you have another group of friends there now? Or? Me? Yeah. Right okay. There. okay. All right. Right okay. there. That's it. Okay. And my, Is that how you want it? That's all I want. Okay. All right. I say hi and goodbye. Okay. Okay. Anyways. That's where it started. Okay. okay. How much money do you owe? Tell me the truth. How much money do you think you owe? I don't know her nothing. So is it a good idea or a bad idea to loan a neighbor money? I'd say it's a bad idea. Well, except you know the neighbor and you have a better chance of knowing whether they're going to repay you, though. Well, you don't always know people, even the ones closest to you. It's never good to mix business with friendships. What do you say? Good idea or bad idea? I'd say it's a bad idea. I mean, letting money to anything, you know, anyone. Well, that's actually the point. Is it a good idea to loan anybody money, given the fact that if you don't get it back, it's a mess, right? Mm, nah, it's not a good idea. <laughs> she sounds like a debtor <laughs> going inside the courtroom. You think you owe her nothing? Here we go. According to you, you paid off $900 when? Do you have any receipts? Other than everybody writing stuff on a piece of paper. I don't and know Let me explain something to you. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me. If I walk, oh, I want I'm you sorry. to listen to me. That means I do the talking. I walk up to a mirror. I say a bunch of stuff to myself in the mirror. That's not two people saying something. Okay? That's just me. So when you guys write down something on a piece of paper here, let me see it. Okay? 
and it's all in the same ink, and it's all on one day. That's not corroboration to me. What I would like to see are receipts. Do you have receipts? For what? For any of the, any single Pay payment that you made on this loan. She never, no. Every time that I ask, can you prove you paid something, and someone says, she doesn't give receipts. No, you don't release the money. The money doesn't come out of this end. Grab the nearest roll of toilet paper and the nearest crayon and write a receipt. If they want your money, they'll write it down. That's it. All right. Now, you want to prove to me that she's... T when did you, when do you say you paid it? My car broke down. According to this? Eight, yes. October 24th of 2018... Was it? Was the last payment, according to you. October 24th of 20... When did you make that last payment? Usually, I was with it's her and she'd hand it to her. It's uh, when, what, what do you, I'm sorry, I don't know what you, you mean. You say on October 24th you made the last payment. Right. How did you make that payment? Gave it to her in her hand. Where were you when you gave it to her? Uh, the right there, locked at her door, right there. The hallway. Cash? Yes. Every time. Every that's time. That's how she handed her Okay, well that's interesting because I don't think you made this one on October 24th because you were the subject of a restraining order. You well, see? So I know your payment that you say you made October 24th is a lie because it was a restraining, restraining order. Restraining. And that would get you in trouble. You'd get arrested for violating the restraining order. And worse than that, on October 26th is the date of the transcript of the restraining order. Okay? And on that day, the court asks her, so you think that she still owes you some money? Ms. Kimball, yes, 774. And Ms. Ferraro answers, first of all, Your Honor, I have no knowledge of paperwork she's talking about, the ledger of the money I owe her. I paid her this month. I've been paying her. So on October 26th, you tell, I'm going to yell as loud as you need me to. On October 26th, you tell a judge that you are making payments. So on October 24th, you didn't finish paying her. You got me? All right. Based on what I've heard, I don't believe you that you've paid her off. You don't have any proof that you've paid her off. In fact, the evidence shows that you didn't pay her off when your own testimony in front of the other judge says that you didn't pay her off. So I find against you in the amount of $774 in favor of the plan. Um, um, Hallelujah. Thank you. The drug dealer gets away. She sues people. She I'm not in the side. I really don't. Well, do you agree that you owe the seven hundred and seventy no. some dollars? No, I don't agree in nothing what they do and say. No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice day. Here comes the plaintiff now. Well, you convinced the judge. Yes, but you do agree it would have been better had you had a promissory note that she would have signed. By far, we'll some never evidence. Do that again. Yes. Something. Yes, and then finally that this will stop the bulliness and everything else that's been going on, and she will pay me my money. What makes you think it's going to stop? You still well, live there. Actually, yeah. actually, it doesn't stop. It, it will continue when I get home. There'll be retaliation. And all I have to do is go to the leasing office to report it. This is an ongoing issue. With and what will that do if you go to the leasing office? What will they do? Hopefully, they will put an end to it. How? Maybe find her. I really don't know. But hopefully, there'll be an end to it. This, this is issue. a mess, isn't it? Oh, it is. Get evicted. Her, yeah. her no. daughter tried to run me over with the car. Really? The next time she tries that, I'm going to fall on the ground. And I'm going to scream bloody murder. <laughs> I am. Peyton Place here. That's yes, what it is. Place. Okay. I hope you work it out, but congratulations. Thank you got you your so money. Much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Where do we go? All right, you go that way. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug. I mean, it is not only a good idea to get an IOU to get something in writing when you loan somebody money, but if it's paid back in installments, you should note that. You should have emails going back and forth. I paid you $100. I, I acknowledge you paid me $100. That way there's going to be no, un, no misunderstanding at the end of the road. 